Hey, what is up guys? Colossnex here with another exercise tutorial for you. Today we're going to be talking about rear delt flies. So rear delt flies can be a really great exercise for hitting the rear delts because they're really easy to forget about, but they can be kind of difficult to someone who's never done them before or someone who's maybe still trying to build up their self-awareness. So this video is for those people. So in a fully active rear dumbbell fly, we're bending our knees, tilting at the hips, keeping our back straight, and doing this fly motion where we bring our dumbbells towards our back, shoulder blades being brought back together, and our rear delts are squeezing to raise the weight. This can be a tough exercise at first because you obviously need a really strong core to hold your back straight while you're bent over, so you're not compromising your spine. And you need pretty good awareness to know like how to move a dumbbell behind you. It's kind of an awkward movement. So now I'm gonna talk about the first way you can make this exercise easier with this bench here. So you have it set to an incline. You're gonna grab your dumbbells, approach the bench, bend your knees, and I'm resting my forehead on the bench. So by doing this, I'm really taking the load off of my core. I don't have to work so hard with my abs to hold myself up. This way, my legs have a little bit of an easier time supporting my body weight, and I can isolate the rear delts so that I can maybe just practice the movement. But still, without a good level of self-awareness, it can be hard to get that arm movement right. I've had clients that didn't understand how much they should be bending their arms or like, you know, if there should be a slight bend or more of straight arms, how far do they bring their hands back? So this next level is for those people, just so you can take the load off of your core, isolate the rear delts and just focus on the movement. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna bend our elbows in, bringing the dumbbells in towards our chest, arms kind of cross over. That's our starting position, kind of curled in like this. And as we execute the movement, we're uncurling our arms, wrists are going back, elbows are going back and we're bringing our shoulder blades back. So this makes it a lot easier for your arms. So you know that you're starting with the curl. You're just kind of hinging at your shoulder, bringing your shoulder blades back together and just isolating that rear delt. So this is a really good beginner approach to rear delt flies that I found worked with clients. And uh, this is something that I actually developed with a client. I was asking them what made the most sense for them, how they could remember to do it. And then from here, we were able to move them into more of the traditional rear delt fly. But uh, hey, everybody's got to start somewhere. And this video is for those people who are just starting out or someone just going into a muscle building program and need some tips to hit their rear delts. Anyways, that's going to do it for this tutorial video. Hope you guys liked it. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe if you haven't yet. That would really help me grow my channel so I can keep making videos like this. Class next out.